Cool. Look at that. Look, I can't even get a drop out of here. Don't let this happen to you. Stay tuned to find out how you can avoid this. It's 7.30, middle of January, minus 18 without the wind chill in Celsius. We need water. I'm going to have some winter camping coming up with my youth plus some night hikes. So we're going to try and experiment with one water bottle. And we're just going to carry the Starlight Bear back in. And we'll see that in this little pouch over here. Over here. We're going to take this one, flip it upside down, stuff it in a dirty sock. And see if there's a difference. And in about a 45-minute walk, because I've got, uh, I don't know, four to five kilometer walk, and it's super quick because I stumble over snowbanks and things. We're going to see, uh, you know, which one develops ice first, if any. See if it's cold enough. It should be. Let's get it in the sock. And too much bare flesh out here. Temp. Luckily, I don't have a lot of wind. But it's still cold. You can feel when it gets cold enough, the temperature actually feels like it burns. Pop that in here. Now we're going to put this one right beside there. Not super scientific, but similar conditions. Come on, let's go for a walk. Okay, taking a look in around 10 minute mark. No, no idea what to expect with this temperature. So far, no signs of icing. And still relatively warm, so this is a bit insulative. We'll have to stock up the camp later. Let's see anything going on here. We're going to go for another while. But I want to check in. It's been over a half an hour because I was dallying. Still none, which is good, and it's not helpful for the experiment. I'll have to leave this outside longer. Not frozen yet, so I'm going to guess the sock one isn't. So we're going to have to leave this out longer. No ice yet. See, after another hour and about 40 minutes here, I'll just leave this for a bit. Nice and cold. The hands are feeling uncomfortable. Wow, that plastic's in the way. Icing up on top there. Now we're going to check the sock. And I don't hear any crunching. So that's good. No crunching at all. I can find the end of the sock. I got no ice or crunching. Actually, I'm going to take the label off that can here. Ooh, the hands are getting cold. I'm going to come back out another half hour now that that's crystallizing up. Rudy out here. Maybe we're going to get more snow. Now this one we're going to take the label off so we can have a look in there. So that when it does ice over, I'll crush it all. Right now, I think as soon as I crush it, it re-dissolved. I'm very confident now that we'll be able to demonstrate the difference between the sock and the no sock. Sometimes you just lose track of time or get busy in the day. I've been out here now, oh, I'd say two and a half hours total. So yeah, about a half hour longer than I thought. I'm going to get inside here and let's have a look. Oh, now hopefully that's obvious and clear to see. We've got some ice here. We'll test that in a second. Oh, it sounds squishy. That's good news for us, right? And this is what we were hoping. What's the point here, folks? Well, if you're going out on a hike for a couple of hours, and it's snow, and it's 15 below, you might want to, one, invert your bottle. Now, I wish I had caught this a half hour ago, because what you would see is that it would have frozen from the top down. At least if it starts to freeze, we still can drink from the bottom, but this is still fine. Ah, yeah, the dirty right So we'll pop that back in there. I don't think it's frozen all the way through here. Yeah, I can break that. It was actually sitting this way, so a lot of the ice is on top here. So let's see. If this was frozen more solid, we might have trouble drinking. Now, this looks like it's going to be cold and refreshing. Not quite what I'm looking for on a winter hike, but sometimes you just need water, right? Now, that said, it's not coming out very fast. You can see maybe another half hour. We're not getting any water out. The moral of this story, folks, it is important. Plan ahead. Think about, especially out in the winter, but anytime. Your water supply is super important. Carry it upside down. That way, if this does freeze, like it did, at least it would have frozen more solid from the top than when we open it. So if we have some water on top, half frozen, it would pour out a lot easier. We did carry it upside down, and we added an extra insulating layer. So just an old stock. Everybody has them. Dryers eat them. And it's just an old trick I was told a long time ago. I've seen it probably on the internet, too. And I love to tell my scouting youth, yeah, get your dad or mom or parents dirty saw. Then goes back to that wonderful song, Black Saw. They always get stronger the longer you wear them. That's right. Well, white socks will work too. If you want to see more of these tips or other videos I'm working on, please like, share, subscribe. Hey, get out and make your own videos.